good morning I'm trying to find a new place to balance you because i'm in my new car today's monday it's monday the 11th of march it was mother's day yesterday so i didn't get to do like food shopping and things because it was mother's day so i'm going to do that later this evening with lee when he gets home from work so i'm gonna take you with that let's take you with that take you with me for that but i have got a lot going on today it's a very very busy very very productive monday we are getting stuff done i'm really struggling to find a good spot to put you on so like my dashboard's like a bit wavy um then you'll just be on a slant so i've got you like in my radio section so i can talk about it because by this point this information will not be new to you guys and it hopefully would have already happened if my plans haven't fallen through hopefully i would have seen and met arnold schwarzenegger and i'm sure if i have my reaction would be slightly different to this <laughs> um but yeah i was supposed to be at this point it obviously it's not happened yet i'm doing this video and it's getting uploaded after i was supposed to have met arnold schwarzenegger so uh, this is kind of weird doing this in the future hopefully i would have met him <laughs> um so i'm in the gym i'm gonna go every single day this week just to try and get some nice shape you know the last thing i want to do is meet my literal lifetime hero um who is you know mr universe and all the rest in a, in a really bad shape so i'm gonna work out extra hard this week eating no more rubbish food all week i'm being very very good no sweets no chocolate no rubbish food so I'm going to go and get a big workout in. I think I'm going to do legs today. I have neglected to do my legs for a long time. I really enjoyed doing um, upper body lately. And I think that's just because I see results a lot quicker. So it's like, um, you know, it makes you feel better quicker because you can see things happening quicker. So I'm going to take a step back from that. I'm going to concentrate on lower body today and then go home. Oh no, I've got a stop to do. I've got to drop one of my friend's birthday presents off. Her birthday was in December and I've not dropped it off that's how busy and manic my life has been lately so i'm gonna go and drop that off for her after i've been in the gym then i'm gonna go home um and i've got lots to do so i'll see you guys back at home might take you in the gym depends how busy it is oh update on the gym as well um i know i moan about my gym all the time on here and yes it is still horrendous and still can't get in or do anything me and lee did try out another gym <clears throat> Um, because we were saying we need we need to change we can't keep paying for a gym that we can't get any use out of it's ridiculous this gym so we did get a week's free trial membership at another gym i think i'd rather put up with the business of this gym for now so we can find another one then another one that we looked at which was not too far from us as well was like 50 pound a month just for a bog standard gym i don't think so uh, i paid 21.99 here and that that's enough for me so the hunt is still on going for a better gym but anyway i'm gonna head inside because the day's getting on shower i've put my jams back on not do it once clean jammers and this udi lee got me for mother's day as one of my presents oh it was literally i can't even tell you how soft comfy warm snuggly all the things that it is that gym session for the first time in about six months i actually was so sorry for the washing machine in the background it's literally just started to do a big massive spin it's been quiet for the last 20 minutes one moment please We've quietened down for a minute, I think. Um, and now I can't even remember where I was up to. But I've got home and showered because the workout that I got um, was so good for the first time ages, in ages. Uh, I felt like I was going to throw up and my legs completely went to jelly. So that is a very good sign of a very good workout. Now I'm very, very hungry. So I am going to make... I'm 99% sure I've shared this on here before, but my brain is fried at the moment. Um, my banana pancakes. So I just get banana eggs whip them together put them in the pan and then top it with walnuts and honey so i'm gonna have that now <laughs> have you ripped the stuffing out yes 
course you have. Uh, that's about it. And then I've got a long list of things to do. I've got to bring the dietitian for India. She's under the dietitian. She's been under the dietitian for a couple of years because she has food avoidances because of her ASD. Uh, dietitian, I've got to make an appointment with them. Got to... My brain is so fried. I've written it all down in my diary last night. I need to start my essay. I'm seven weeks behind on starting my last essay ever of nursing school. So I need to get buckled down with that. At least even just look. Because I might even looked at it. Um, at least you just look at... <laughs> At least you just <laughs> at least you just <laughs> stop looking at me. You're making me come here. He's a good boy. He loves his mum. Go get your dinosaur. Where's your dinosaur? You clever lad. Yeah, so I need to sit down and look at that and just at least even get my head around what it is that I need to do and write some kind of plan. So that's one of the things the dietitian I need to pay for um, Doggy Hotel because I haven't shared this information yet and I'm not going to share the dates or where we're going or anything like that because I'm not I'm not going to take that risk but we are going on hot on oh, hotel oh help guys we are going on holiday at some point this year uh, I haven't been on a holiday since before Covid and I think it may have even been a year before that so I haven't been on holiday for probably like five, pushing six years. Um, really need a one. Really want to go on a nice family holiday. I promised India that once my degree is done, we will go on holiday and have a nice time together just to celebrate, decompress from the last four years of nursing school. So we do have a holiday booked. Um, obviously, the reason I'm booking a dog hotel is because it's abroad somewhere. So we won't be able to take Arnold with us. Um, but he's going on his own holiday and it's great. The place has been recommended by one of the country's top um, dog trainer behavioural therapy specialists. So I booked in there for him. So I need to make that payment today. Uh, loads of things. I just can't think. Anyway, I'm going to get on with making my pancakes. It's gone really dark in here. It's such a gloomy time at the moment. There's, I can't even remember the last time there was any like nice natural light in our country. Anyway, eat some pancakes. Let's just do what you want to. Please don't be polite, cause I like your attitude. Let's forget about a curfew, cause all that is stuck in my head is me and you. have not stopped so it's currently 2 23 having my first coffee of the day i did not have one before i went to the gym this morning just didn't fancy one but lee got me a cup for mother's day when another treat that he got so i'm just drinking out of my nice new mug just gone through my to-do list of all the things i've had to do and i have gone through quite a few things already so so my to-do list was to do my friend's birthday present um, finish a reel that I was doing. I've done that actually. I can take that off. I don't know why I didn't take that off this morning. Um, I need to pay Annie's dog hotel fees. Uh, film my video for... My hands are really aching. 
film a video for the highlighting, your essays, so telling you how to how I highlight my essays, how to teach you how to do that so that you can hit your learning outcomes and things. Uh, what else? Start my essay, my plan on my essay. Look at what days I'm in uni next week. Now I'm finally getting my car back to normal. I haven't been able to go into uni, so I've done about half of the things that I needed to do, which, you know, it's quite good going. Just reading assignment guidance. So our lecturer has been very kind and put together like a step by step of an idea. You know, it's not exactly supposed to be like this, but just so that we've got a, like a template to go off so that we're not stressing too much on our final essay. So. I'm literally just having a read through that now. I could start my plan for my next and final assignment ever. Oh my God, I cannot even tell you the joy that that brings me to even think about. I get my dissertation a week this Wednesday, so nine days. I'm starting to stress a little bit about it only because I'm just thinking if I have to redo it, I don't know when I'm gonna find the time to do that, so. Hmm, not very, uh, not looking forward to that next week, but you know, but if I have passed it, then that's fantastic. And then I can just concentrate on this, but I'm going to get my plan started. So I'm just going to cut this off here because I'm going to spend a little bit of time doing this. I need to go and get India from school and yeah, that's where we're up to. I can't remember if I've updated you about India and a leg or not. I really can't remember. She's got a leg brace on. She got it off two weeks ago, but she needs hydrotherapy and physiotherapy. So we've got weeks and weeks of of recovery for a leg bless her but i'm glad that she's getting the help to that level so she's getting hydrotherapy as well which is fantastic so her next appointment is in a week or so i think but hydrotherapy hasn't started yet we're on a wait in an urgent waiting list for that so it should be the next couple of weeks i'm gonna have to go for a little bit but i will check in with you guys a little bit later on today <sighs> busy day guys busy day but i love a monday monday is my favorite day of the week and i know a lot of people hate mondays but i feel like they really I don't know, they give me a boost of energy for the rest of the week. Anybody else? The school run, I'm home, obviously. Um, back <laughs> in my comfies. I didn't go to school like this, promise. I am in the middle of doing my plan. I know that looks like horrendously scrawled writing because it is. It's just a rough plan. I think this is gonna be an okay-ish essay. Even though it's not my dissertation, it's actually a thousand words longer than my dissertation, which is a bit silly. Nevertheless, it's 5,000 words, so I'm just breaking down like the first section into how many paragraphs and things like that, so I can try and get my head around the level of information that I need for each of the sections. So a section on background, history of the client, um, socioeconomic influences is another section, um, therapeutic relationship building, communication styles, uh, all that stuff. And that's just in the first section. So I'm going to try and aim to do like two paragraphs per each of those miniature headings. Um, I think I can just kind of crack on with this. The only thing it doesn't really make clear is if we are in the first bit where it's background history and socioeconomic influences and things, it doesn't mention whether or not you need to be using literature to back that up and references as well um it mentions later on to use references and and appropriate literature but it doesn't mention it on that bit so i'm wondering if you just write about your patient on there i'm not too sure so i'm not going to actually start the writing today because i think that would be silly i don't want to be making any mistakes and then doing extra work and having to correct myself so i'm going to email my lecturer anyway in a minute <sighs> it's all fun and games anyway I'm going to carry on with this just for a little bit longer and um, like I say there's not really much more I can do and then later on this evening I'm going to film the highlight essay highlighting video. I'm very tired back to sitting behind a laptop for ridiculous amounts of hours of the day. Um, I'm going to try and get to the library at some point this week or a coffee shop. I'll take you with me for that when I go there if I remember to but for now I'm going to check out I'll check back in a bit.
until you came knocking at my door It's hard to be, it's hard to be this real We can play our favorite song, dance into it all night long With you I feel, with you I feel something Cause we're both so finished filming the colour code video for you guys so I'm so sorry that this video has been all over the place today but I have had a super busy day so my brain is a little bit scrambled um Lee's just cooking tea at the moment I think we're on steak and sweet potato fries I want to say but it is now 10 past 8 so I think I'm gonna leave this video here I don't want to bore you too much with any more dragged out content because my days are just all over the place at the moment um, but thank you so much for joining me on my very busy and productive day I'm gonna go down for my tea I will show you what I have in a minute but I think as far as talking I feel like this is this is the end for today so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button if you haven't already I'll see you guys in the next one